Most of the textbooks nowadays come with Exam View Test Builder. This is a tool where the instructors can create quizzes and tests. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the process of creating a quiz or exam in Exam View, exporting the quiz into a format that we can use in e-learning or Moodle, installing and exporting the quiz into XML format, and then importing the questions into the question bank in e-learning. Unfortunately, it's a few steps that are involved here. However, uh, the benefit is quite major as far as bringing and reutilizing those uh, previously defined quizzes and exams. So I'll assume here that we have installed exam view. So once you have the exam view test builder, click on the wizard icon here on the top left, and then give a name to your exam or quiz. Then click on next. And then you'll see the different test banks from the CD that came, or the software that came with your textbook. So in this case, I have something related to 2010. So let's say I want to do computer hardware, select it, and then click on Next. Notice under computer hardware, this is uh, these are all the questions in this test bank. So you'll pick how many questions you want, for example, true and false, how many, how many you want multiple choice, and how many you want as essay questions. And then click on Next. Then click on Finish, and then the test will be built automatically. At this point, let's assume that the test is good to go. You could, of course, make customizations. And now we are going to go into step number two on exporting this quiz or this exam in a format that we can reuse in e-learning. So to do that, we'll need to click on File choose export and then we want to choose blackboard 6.027 notice it's going to save this under c exam view and then the tests folder so when we look later for this this is where it's going to be under the c drive under exam view and then under the test folder and we'll call this exam one then we need to give it a name a descriptive name And then under the directory name, we gave it also a unique name here, so we'll call it exam1. Then click OK. At this point, the process is complete, and if we were to go under the C drive, and then look under exam view, under tests, that's where it has created a compressed folder. So now the next step is downloading a tool for exporting this quiz into XML format so that e-learning or Moodle could actually read those questions and bring them into the system. Because exam view was just to create the test and then export it. Let's go to google.com and under, under Google here let's search for Moodle XML Builder. And we want to go to the Nash Community College this is a tool that this college has created. So we'll click on it, on the link here. And uh, this is where you can find the different versions of this tool for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. Then we are going to click on the Windows version of it, and then we are going to download it. Then we are going to save the file. In my case, I'm going to save it under Documents. And it's going to name it as Moodle XML Builder. Once it is downloaded, we'll need to click on it, in my case, I'm using Windows 8, so we'll click on Run It. And basically, anything positive at this point. So we need to click on Next, Next, Install. Now, in some cases, during the installation, it also needed Java. So if you do not have Java, uh, you'll need to install it. So we'll click OK. At this point, the conversion tool has been installed, and it will show up in an icon very similar to this on your desktop. So now we are on the step three here, where we are converting the created test from Exam Viewer into XML format for e-learning or Moodle. So we'll need to double click on the icon, and then what we are going to use is uh, Exam View Export to Blackboard 6.0 to 7. This is the type of uh, test because that's where we used Exam Viewer, and now we'll find the test that we exported earlier from Exam View. We'll click on the file here. We'll go under the C drive. 
exam view and then tests this is where you had your test uh, from before now we'll choose exam 1 if you remember that's what we worked on and once we select exam 1 then we'll click on open notice the output file or the converted uh, exam here it's going to be in the C drive again under the tests folder so once we are set with the selection of the file and the output file here, then we click on Start, and it's going to do the conversion for us. Once the conversion is complete, you'll have a blank prompts here, then we'll click on Exit. If we wanted to view the contents of this file, if we go back to the C drive under Exam View, and then Tests, notice there is a, a text file at this point, the XML file, that has all your exam configuration. So now we are ready for the final step, or the semi-final step here, on importing this exam into eLearning. So now we go and to our course in eLearning, and then you'll notice that on the right-hand side, or under Course Settings, there is an, a section here for Question Bank. So we'll click on Question Bank, and there are a couple of ways of doing this, but the easiest, I believe, is to go to the course, then you go to the Question Bank, and then under the question bank, these are all the questions for this course that we currently have. And then we want to click on import here on the left hand side and notice this is under settings and then under question bank and then under import. So we'll click on import and then we are going to choose Moodle XML format for the format because this is what we used the tool earlier to convert this into and we're going to leave these options the way they are and then we are going to click on file then we're going to upload the file so we choose the file that we want to upload then we go under the C drive under exam view and this is under tests and then we're going to pick the one that says XML file or it's going to be very similar to a text file double click on it and then choose upload this file then we'll click on import and notice these are all the questions that it's going to import so it's basically all the questions that we defined in exam view earlier we click on continue and notice all the questions at this time have been imported now the way we can use these is basically if we go back to our course here so if we go back to our course, in this case I just have a blank course, but you could have more stuff in there. And then we turn editing on in the course. So once we turn editing on in the course, we click on add a new resource or activity, and now we are going to create a quiz. So if I click on quiz, click on add, and then I'll give a name to the quiz. And then you put a description for it. You can specify the timing and all this stuff. I'll skip this for now. And then I'll assume that you know how to create a quiz at this point. And then you scroll all the way to the bottom and you choose Save and Display. So, so far we just told the system that we are going to have a quiz, but now we need to also pick the questions. So, once uh, we define that there is going to be a quiz, now we click on Edit the quiz so that we can add the questions to this quiz or exam and then notice that on the right hand side this is the area where that will have all the questions for this quiz or exam and then on the right hand side we have the different uh, the question bank notice that if you click on the drop down here we'll have the exam one computer hardware and these are all the questions that we imported from earlier using the exam view and the other tools that we utilized earlier now notice these are the questions. Now we can simply either click on individual ones and add them, or we can choose to show all 26. And then the easiest would be, once we click on show all 26, is to click on this select all, and then add all of them. Notice that this check mark has been added to all of them, and we add all of them to the quiz. Once you add them all to the quiz, they will be displayed under the quiz definition. 
and then you can change how many marks uh, for certain questions they may have more weight than others and then all you have to do is you scroll to the top and you click on save at this point the quiz is ready to be displayed to the students so you can at this point the quiz is ready and you can go under preview and this is uh, the quiz this is how the quiz will look now it's showing one question per page because in the definition when I created the quiz that's what I had selected however you can change that and have it with more questions in one page so that's the whole process from exam view that comes with your textbook to converting the questions into XML format so that e-learning can read them to importing the questions into e-learning into the test bank and then to actually creating a quiz or an exam. If you have any questions please feel free to contact me and um, hopefully this is beneficial.